All right, time for another movie review. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is what we're talking about today. This movie rules. I love this movie. Uh, this is the fourth installment in the Planet of the Apes series. This one takes place generations after the third one, War for the Planet of the Apes. So all the apes uh, that you know and love from Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn, and the third one, are not in this movie but don't fret these are all new apes a uh, different director it's not matt reeves doing this one don't worry this movie still rules and in fact even though caesar is not in this one uh his his legacy lives on okay we get more uh lore of the character uh he plays a huge enormous part of this movie apes in this kingdom they venerate caesar and a lot of them use, use uh, the, the, the legacy of Caesar to do bad, which is really commentary on religion. So that's, that's the, uh, kind of the theme behind this movie. The visual effects on this are outstanding. I'm sure you know this already, but the actors uh, playing the apes, they're not just voice actors in a sound booth. Uh, they were actually physically acting. They had, they had to go to ape school, okay, for, for months or weeks if you get a certificate from ape school you know it'd be kind of cool you hang it on your wall you know you put it you hang it in your office uh, i graduated top of the class from ape school um i would have probably failed that school but anyways uh because i feel all the schools even ape school <laughs> too 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 much monkeying around i'm actually i would be actually too much of an ape to, to be in that school uh i'm sorry i'm going off topic here sorry no offense to apes. Where was I? Oh yeah, the actors. Uh, they had to actually physically act in this movie. They wore uh, mo motion capture suits and all that. There's lots of um, behind the scenes stuff that you should go and uh, look for because it's really fascinating how this movie was made. The actor playing the main villain, Proximus Caesar, what an outstanding performance by this guy. One of the best villains that I've seen in recent memory. Um, I love this character. Some people were complaining about the general pacing of the movie and that the movie was too long. I get that, but I don't feel that way. It's not an action scene every two seconds kind of movie. It's a movie that it's, you really submerge yourself into this kingdom. And we explore the whole... Uh, the whole world, the whole planet um, of the apes. And personally, I love that, okay? You're, you're really um, submerged into this jungle land and apes climbing the trees and um, apes actually raising eagles and uh, using them to have as their own sort of pet. And we explore the jungle and the fauna along with the apes. Um, also, when you're watching a movie, you're sitting in a comfortable chair. I don't understand people complain. Like, is it too, it's too comfortable for you? Too much sitting tires you out? Is that the problem? That's something that I will never complain about. You'll never see me complain that a movie is too long. I love movies. Why, why would I complain? It makes no sense to me. But anyways, for me, the pacing was just right. And I actually love that uh, we got to explore um, the kingdom. Everywhere we go, we are bombarded by constant noise and advertising and stuff. We're all stuff thrown into our face. If we could take a moment to slow down and explore, I love that. So you're not going to... The pacing is just right for me. So overall, this movie is tremendous. Uh, this is how I rank it uh, with the other ones. I put it at number three. Now, all, all, all these movies are great. Don't don't, don't uh, get get upset here. Why why is you know Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Why are you putting that last? Why are you putting War uh, first? Why are you not putting Dawn? Look, a lot of people their favorite of the series is Dawn. For me, it's a War War of the Planet of the Apes. That's my favorite. Why? Because it's there's so many good moments. Uh, it's it's the most bleak of the four. Uh, there's so many iconic scenes. Uh, but anyways, that's Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I put it at three. And all these movies are great. Go watch them. Go watch Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. What a wonderful day. I need a banana.